Welcome to Excel Major Trick number 446. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, in this trick here, someone asked, hey, 7 a.m. to 16 uh, p.m., those are the hours we worked and we want a formula here to calculate the time worked. Forget it. Don't do it. That's ridiculous. This is what you should do. Time out, time in. You subtract the difference. You always take the later time minus the earlier time. That'll give us a proportion of one 24-hour day, and then you multiply it by 24. Ah, but there are certain circumstances, like this person says, got to figure out a formula. It's all set up this way. So there you go. What are we going to do? Sometimes you have to do it. Well, we can extract that 16, and then we can extract the uh, 7. Uh, when we extract them, we're going to have to use our extract text from text string tricks. And I actually have a bunch of links up here for uh, some of these kinds of tricks. But here, we'll first extract the 16 and then the 7 and subtract them just like we did uh, down over here. I'm going to use the replace function. The replace function, we're going to give it old text, this is the old text, remember I'm trying to get the 16 first, comma, I want to replace everything from the first character up to that dash with a blank, so I'm going to say starting number of characters to replace, one, comma, number of characters, well, the pattern we've recognized for all of these is that we're going to have a dash and we can find what character position that is with the find function. I'm going to say find what text, double quote, dash, double quote, comma, within what text? Within that text right there. That'll find up to there. Now, we may have spaces or we may not from typing. And there may be a space on the, the front end of the dash, too. But we'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, find, that's the number of characters to go in from one. And then the new text will be double quote, double quote, no space, because we're going to replace from here to there with nothing. Control Enter. That 16. Um, if we accidentally put a space right there, it's going to pull out that. And if I do any calculation on it, uh, that'll cause some trouble. So I'm going to put the trim function. The trim is great because it'll get rid of any extra spaces we don't want. So I'm going to put the trim around it. That will take any of those spaces and get rid of them. So now we get our 16. Now I'm going to do a formula down here. I'm not going to keep it down here, but I'm going to now extract the 7 equals left. Actually, I'm just going to start off with equals trim left. Here's the text. Number of characters. Left just says from here all the way to where do you want to keep. So I'm going to say find. Find that dash again within this. Now, the find is going to give us all the way to the dash. And do we really want to extract from 0 all the way to dash? No. So I'm going to subtract 1. You can't subtract 2 because sometimes there will be a space, sometimes there won't. Close parentheses on the left and close parentheses on the trim. The trim will get rid of any extra spaces. So really what we did here is we extracted, we subtracted, we found that, we subtracted 1, so we actually included the space. But again, sometimes that space won't be there. Control Enter. Now I'm going to copy this right here. And I want you to notice something. Are these aligned to the left? That means they're text. In general, text cannot, numbers cannot do calculations unless you do an operation. So watch this. We take the later time minus, and that minus will be the operation that will convert this back to a number. So two text strings with an operator, forget it. It's going to make it create it as uh, calculated as a number. Control Enter. I don't want that time. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for general format. Control Shift tilde. Time is a proportion of one 24-hour day. So there it is, 0.375. Now I'm going to um, do 24 times open parentheses, because we have a minus there that we need to do before that multiplication. Close parentheses, and then uh, Control Enter. Now that's nine hours work. Let's just copy this over. Now uh, this person also said they had a bunch of uh, uh, codes for whatever absent days or whatever, and there's some blanks. You can see these create value errors. Well, we could create you know a big ugly if with lots of ifs. But notice here's all the values, and all we need is one of them to be true, so we can actually put the use the if function 
And instead of a logical test stringed out one for each one of these, we can just use the OR function. So I'm going to say if the logical test right here is going to be OR. OR, and what's the OR? Are any of these, oops, I created, uh, yeah, are any of those equal to, I have that 24 there, really. That's the 24 that's going to come out there. But are any of those ORs equal to this? That way, when it gets a true, like over here and here and here, what are we going to do? Comma, double quote for blank, or not available, or whatever you want to put in those quotes. Comma, and then there's our calculation. So the value, luckily I have Control Z. I clicked in the wrong place. The value if false is going to be this whole thing. The value if true, which means we found one of those things, is going to be a blank. I'm going to put a close parenthesis. And unfortunately, we have to do Control Shift Enter because uh, uh, that or right there, logical test inside the uh, if, is not going to work. Control Shift Enter. Now if I copy this over here, it takes care of, well, I thought, except for I see what I forgot to do. I forgot to lock these. I'm going to have to hit F4. F4, Control Shift Enter, and then copy these over. And so now it picks up those and delivers that if. Now, uh, one other interesting thing about uh, this or and if, that right there um, is a range. Some functions accept array syntax uh, typed out, and you don't have to use Control Shift Enter. So in this case, I'm going to come down here and replace all that, just delete. I'm going to put it into edit mode, because I copied all of this, Control C. And I'm going to paste. And watch this. I can highlight that right there and hit the F9 key. That puts um, all of this stuff into array syntax, which then doesn't require Control Shift Enter. Control Enter. I'm going to get rid of all that formatting, Control 1 and then General. The keyboard shortcut is Control Shift tilde. Tilde is to the left of the number 1. And then I can copy that over. All right, so it didn't require Control Shift Enter. There's no curly brackets. All right, that was a, a ridiculous bit of formulas for someone who had their spreadsheet set up a ridiculous way. Um, time math is much easier than that. Just set it up correctly in individual cells for time in, time out. All right, we'll see you next trick.